Have you ever had that Asian cabbage slaw that's made with crushed ramen noodles and then you use the seasoning packet from the ramen noodles to make the dressing? I love that salad and it's so great for taking to summer picnics. Now, if you make that salad, don't be surprised when you look at the ingredients that are in the seasoning packet and you see salt, sugar, and MSG as the first three ingredients. Those are ingredients that people are either trying to control in their diet or trying to avoid altogether. There's an easy way to get around it and still have great flavor when you make that Asian slaw, and that is to make your own dressing. So I'll show you the dressing that I use to substitute for the dressing that uses that little ramen seasoning packet. So first of all, I've put three tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari you can use. I'm using tamari today, but you can also use soy sauce. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar. You can find it in all grocery stores these days. And I've got the grated zest from one lime that I'll put right in there, and then also the juice from one lime. I'm also going to squeeze juice from about a tablespoon of grated fresh ginger that I've already grated ahead of time. I've also got about a tablespoon of minced garlic. For a little bit of sweetness, you can use honey or sugar. I'm gonna use a little less than a tablespoon of sugar. So it's not going to be a very sweet dressing at all. And then, because I like a little spice, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of some nice hot sriracha, but that's totally optional. And then just mix that right up. I've got a mixture of red cabbage and green cabbage, probably about four cups. And I'm going to add one cup of carrots and about half cup of sliced green onion. And just because I had some peppers in my fridge I wanted to use, I've got some green and red pepper. I'll toss that together. And I've already, ahead of time, toasted a couple tablespoons of sesame seeds, 350 degree oven, for about five minutes. I'll put those in too and give it a little a little stir, and I'm just going to put the dressing right over this mixture and toss it up. Then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours because if you can refrigerate it before you eat it, the taste gets better than ever. At serving time, top it with half cup of sliced almonds that have been toasted a little bit in the oven, probably 350 degrees for about five to eight minutes until they're a little bit brown. This is a wonderful salad for picnics and put it in your lunch to take to work too. It's great. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.